Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about what might possibly be one of my character flaws. Now this possible character flaw has to do with the arbitrary burden of time limitation. That's when I give myself until X date to get something done. It's an arbitrary due date that isn't set by anything else but me. I think it's because I subconsciously believe that the task won't ever get done or at least done in a timely manner. But more often than not, it just stresses me out that I have to finish this task by this certain date even though I don't have to. It's just a date set by me. It happens when I do cosplay, when I work with crafting, but sometimes like with cosplay there is an actual due date by the convention because if I don't have it done by the convention, how am I going to use it at the convention? Or NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo has a due date November 30th. The entire month of November is NaNoWriMo, but many times these tasks have to do with the arbitrary due date that I set myself. The Joker music video I did a while ago, that was an arbitrary due date set by me. I wanted the video posted and uploaded by Halloween because you know, it's a Halloween-y video, but I sectioned off the time. I tried to get the video done, but it was just so stressful because it took a lot more effort than the time that I had set aside. I put myself in situations where I want a certain thing done by X date for no other reason other than I want that thing done by X date. A great example would be this. I decided to post a video every single weekday during the year of 2017. It hasn't been that incredibly stressful. It's been kind of productive. It's been keeping me on my toes. But no one told me to do this. No one told me that I needed to upload a video every single weekday. And I doubt many of you would be upset if I didn't post a video every single weekday, but it's just something I decided that I was going to do. So the reason I bring this up is because I feel like I might be piling a little more onto my plate as of late. I'm currently working on the aforementioned NaNoWriMo novel and these weekday videos. I've gotten more caught up on my novel, which is good, and I haven't been wavering on these weekday videos, which is also good, but I may have made a Pokemon Go related goal. I want to see if I can reach level 40 in Pokemon Go by New Year's. I have less than two months. Now for those of you who play Pokemon Go, you know how difficult it is to level up every single time. It gets a little more difficult each time, there's a little more grinding going on. From level 19 to 20, it is 25,000 XP. From level 20 to 21, it is 50,000 XP. From level 21 to 22, it is 75,000 XP. And from level 22 to 23, it is 100,000 XP. It goes up each time. From level 36 to level 37, it is 2 million XP. And by level 37, you are almost halfway to level 40. That's how steep of a hill it is to climb up the XP ladder in Pokemon Go. And finally, from level 39 to level 40, it is 5 million XP just for that one level difference for a total of 20 million XP during the entire game. By the time you hit level 40, it's 20 million XP. That's a lot of XP. So about two weeks ago on the third, I hit level 39. So I had only 5 million more XP to go to hit level 40. And I decided uh, to try to hit level 40 by New Year's. Give myself just, just under two months. Now I did the math and to get those 5 million XP from level 39 to 40 over those 59 days, it's about 84,000 XP per day. And to give you a sense of scale, it takes about 84,000 XP to go from level one to level 14. So it's almost as if I'm going from level one to 14 every single day. Now there are going to be days when I cannot make 84,000 XP happen in Pokemon Go with the upcoming Chicago TARDIS trip on days when I work 10 hour work shifts. So I guess I'll just have to try to stay ahead of the curve and also make videos every weekday and also write my NaNoWriMo novel, which thankfully is going to be ending at the month of November. So then I'll have all December to worry about Pokemon. Why do I do this to myself? No, seriously, why would I put this fake burden on myself, this chore, this 
arbitrary due date for this thing when I have NaNoWriMo to worry about, when I have these videos to worry about. Well, that's what I'm talking about with my character flaw of creating arbitrary due dates. This arbitrary burden. Creating a due date for a task, something that sometimes just stresses me out, but I decide to do it anyway for some reason. But maybe it's important to work on completing a task while other tasks are being completed at the same time. These videos seem to be going fine. I've sort of got the formula down for filming, editing, and uploading. NaNoWriMo is halfway over. I can write my novel while these videos are rendering, which usually gives me about an hour and a half of write time. And I'm pretty confident that I'm going to finish my novel on time. And I'm currently staying ahead of the curve on the XP needed to hit level 40 in Pokemon Go. I've gone as far as making a spreadsheet on my computer documenting where my XP needs to be every single day and making sure I'm well ahead of that. So maybe it all comes down to just me budgeting my time, something that I should probably work on anyway. I don't want to give myself too small of a window to be able to complete a task and maybe having concurrent tasks at the same time will keep me from getting burnt out? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Check back again with me at the end of the year. In the comments down below, let me know one of your character flaws, something that you think you should work on or need to work on, or something that somebody else has told you that maybe you should work on a little better. Mine is definitely time management, being able to budget enough time to do tasks efficiently and well enough to, you know, be proud of what I did. But as always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.